Creating a realistic stack of paper in Blender is simpler than it might seem. Starting with a plane. Begin by clearing your scene and adding a plane. This will serve as the base for your stack of paper. Scaling the plane to match the dimensions of the paper you want to create, e.g. A4 or letter-sized, is a good first step. To make the plane resemble a sheet of paper, you'll need to give it some thickness. By default, a plane has no depth, so it looks infinitely thin. You can add thickness by applying a Solidify modifier. Go to the Modifier Properties tab, add a Solidify modifier, and adjust the thickness parameter. Keep it subtle. Paper is thin so a value close to 0.001 will work well. Duplicating with the Array modifier. Once you have a single sheet of paper, it's time to create the stack. This is where the Array modifier comes in. The Array modifier duplicates an object in a specified direction and by a set amount. Add an Array modifier to the plane. In the modifier settings, adjust the count to match the number of sheets you want in the stack. A value of 50 to 100 works for most stacks. Set the offset in the Z direction to match the thickness of the paper. This ensures that each duplicated sheet is slightly above the previous one, forming a stack. Adding randomness for realism. Real stacks of paper are rarely perfectly aligned. To make your stack look natural, you can add randomness to the positions of the sheets. After applying the array modifier, go into edit mode and press P to separate the sheets by loose parts. This step ensures each sheet becomes an individual object. Next, return to Object Mode. Select all the sheets, then go to the top menu and choose Object Transform, Randomize Transform. This tool allows you to tweak the random location, rotation, and scale of the sheets. Focus on adjusting the location X and location Y values to slightly offset each sheet. This small tweak creates a natural, imperfect alignment that makes the stack look realistic. Enhancing the appearance. With the stack created, you can further enhance its realism by applying materials and textures. Assign a material to the paper and add a subtle paper texture to simulate details like fibers or imperfections. Adjust the roughness in the shader to make the surface appear more matte, as real paper isn't glossy. Once your stack is set up, review it from multiple angles to ensure the randomness looks natural.